Hey everybody, Daronan Enigma here, and welcome to another video. <laughs> and today, we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, someone told me to play this game, and they said, do not look at spoilers, don't look at anything. Just play it, and uh, stay along for the ride. So, here it is, and it... Uh, I, uh, I, I didn't expect this, okay? I didn't expect whatever this is to be on my screen. And the game gave me two warnings before I even came to the screen. Two warnings that this game is not suitable for anyone who is easily disturbed. Who is easily disturbed. I don't understand. I don't understand, but here we go. Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play. Play. New game. Please enter your name. Duh. Oh, it's lagging. Okay. Hey. Hey. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Is this all reading? But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Sayori. <laughs> I overslept again. Mm. But I caught you this time. Oh, it's me. Look, me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Daronin. I'm... Look, just deal with the voices, okay? <laughs> just deal with the voices. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. What is this? I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say. Oh, that's me. I gotta get. I gotta read the the, the names here. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ee. -hee -hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making the daily commute. By the way, Daronin. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I say mockingly. <laughs> this... <clears throat> yeah. I haven't been looking either. I'll get used to reading who, who's saying what here. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? Oh, I'm so behind the times. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah. I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! 
Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Or in the school! Oh, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sari wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. What club are you in? Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, hey, Mini! Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she'd had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Alright, so we're going to the literature club. Oh, <clears throat> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Ugh. Eh? Eh? I glance around the room. Girl one. I, uh, I'm gonna try to give them all the same voice. Cause you know what? If there's more than one, I'm gonna get confused. Even worse than I am. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori's always saying nice things about you. Seriously, you brought up, boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Daronin, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki! Oof. The girl with the sour attitude 
whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Daronin. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. What? That's... <laughs> So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Daronin. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. What the hell is going on? What is this? What is <clears throat> As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh-wah! Ooh-wah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! Eh hey, 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 well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Ah, uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, 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 you know, you, dummy. Wow. All right, all right. She's rude, this little one. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I... I guess? Eh hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, hey, that's... That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. 
I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president, 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 president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah ha ha ha, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Look, if I'm if I'm butchering these voices, um, I'm just going based on like anime cartoons I've watched and what they sound like. Okay, so cut me some slack. All right, cut me some slack. I mean, listen to how deep my voice is. Right, I can only do what I can do. I'm only capable of so much. And we're gonna continue. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls. All interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Daronin, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well... That can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. 
I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Hey, 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 your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just cute as you are. Sari sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Hey, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Wow, this is deep. Do you have experience writing to Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Dot 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 question mark. Natsuri and Yuri. Natsuki, I apologize, and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, um, da da da. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Daronin? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Hey? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Huh. Doronin? You, you all. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sari wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. 
and that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Daronan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehehehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Doronin, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure. Might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is this? What What is this game? What is this? I'm playing. I'm playing a, a story, a novel. I'm playing a novel of, or something. And I was warned twice. The game warned me twice that it would be disturbing. And I think I get it. I, I'm, I'm disturbed that I've allowed myself to play this kind of thing. But, but... People said stay the course. Stay the course. I'm going to stay the course. Let's see what this is all about. And uh, we're going to save. Can I just save it right from here? Oh, right there. Boom. Okay. So we're going to save it. And we're going to come back to this exact spot in the next episode. So, based on my sacrifice in playing this game, uh, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club, I mean, I'll, I'll probably do it anyway, but um, I could use the encouragement because this, this I don't understand. I don't understand why people are telling me to play this, okay? So if, if you if you want to see more, let me know. Um, and remember to subscribe. I do all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, I play games like Far Cry and, and uh, you know, those types of things. PUBG, Fortnite, stuff like that. Um, this is not my kind of thing. This is not really something I had ever thought I'd see myself play. So just be uh, mindful of what I'm willing to do. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>